Once upon a time. How many times has once upon a time been used? But it's never been more apt. Once upon a time, in a faraway land called New York City, the world outside my window breathes hard and heavy and rank with uncertainty. The people below us are unaware of the true nature of the world. Those which people like me have seen. I've seen the manic, vulgar, and downtrodden of societies across the gulf of history and land. I've seen it all, and the mother of it all, and I shrug it at it. The name's Wolf. Bigby Wolf. Private Eye. Yeah, it's who you think it is. Let me just say this. Those damn piglets had it coming. Outside, I barely spot a cab running up to the stoop, and an excuse of an accomplished man running his petty little heart out to have his two cents worth. I know him, and he knows me. He should. We've met many a time. I hated every minute of it. Big B, you gotta, you gotta help me. You okay out of breath, Jack? I'm climbing any beanstalks lately? Nah, we're building out any piggies' houses. What do you want, Jack? It's <laughs> Rose. No. No, no, I understand. But, Miss Bell. Miss Bell, the property is in his name. Yes. Yes, I understand you and your husband. All right, former husband have been good supporters of Cole. Uh, I'm gonna have to call you back. Oh my God, Rose! Jack, hold her back. Jack, what the hell did I, you do? I did Jack, either hold her back or gag her and take her back to City Hall by force if needed. Fine. Good. What the hell did you do to her, no, Jack? Nothing, nothing, I swear. Why would I? I know about you and her, Jack. Everyone at the mayor's office and the police precinct do. I don't know how many people saw your infamous fight with her last year. Snow, I love her. S stop. Just stop Snow. it. Snow. You're a damn liar, Jack. I don't know how many times good beats supposed to you for something. I... I... Just answer me one thing. Did you kill my sister? Maybe. What? Well, there's too much blood to be sure, but there's no body. Body? Jesus. Jack, I'm taking you in. What? You're my top suspect. You've got no proof. This is bull. <clears throat> Let's start with assault. That's far. Hi, old Nup Snow. I'm doing. Okay. I'm trying to cope and everything, but I just. I mean, she's my little sister, and I just. I, I don't know if I. Even with everything that's happened, she's still my little sister. We're still family. You never had a... Let's not go there. Jackson's holding his own. He's claiming innocence. Do you think it's him? I can't say for sure. There aren't many other suspects. Charming. What? How, how can you just write him off like that? Because you're biased. That's not true. You're biased because Rose slept with your Prince Charming not even two weeks after the wedding. Still can't believe he's not in prison. I still believe they would have found the bodies if they looked hard enough. The ex wives? All eight of them. He's living well. I have no idea. Yes. 
We have an appointment with your boss. Of course, right this way. Ah, good day, madam. Detective, I should assume you're here to collect my annual contribution to Miracle's administration. It's a bit early, but... Shut it! We know you did it! Beg pardon? I did it. Bull! I think you killed him about ready to rest you right here and now! Killed? Who? Rose Red. Dear God. Baby, just... Shut up, Snow! This bastard killed your sister and you know it! I'll see you here. You won't even answer any of my questions! You haven't asked any. Fine! Did you kill Rose Red? No. Did you ever hurt her? No, never. Where were you yesterday? I was here all day, as Cobbs. When was the last time you saw her? Last month at one of the gala events I threw for my birthday. Before that, she accompanied me to City Hall for the Christmas ball. Right after a fight with Jack? What happened between you two? She needed money. We came close after a time, however. What? Professionally? Financially? Romantically. You? We were set to be married. Right. I have proof. What the hell is this? Prenuptial agreement of sorts. It's no secret that Rose is a bit flaky, what with her association with Jack. For the longest time I thought it was a sort of ruse. But as things progress, I steadily agree to trust her. I didn't believe I could trust her, but what can I say? The mink seduced me. Beautiful. Just beautiful. You made her sign a contract? Only because there was money involved. It was relying on our marriage being kept secret. Rose Red was and still is my fiance, my bride. I sure to think that something foul has befallen her. Right. That's enough. We're out of here, Snow. Thank you for your time. Oh, detective. Spread the word. Starting today, I'll pay two million dollars for anyone who finds the person or persons responsible for this. I swear it. Ducky at all. Uh, no, sir. I suppose. Wolf and I spoke with Mr. Bluebeard late last afternoon. Bigby pulled a trick on the old cartridge that worked like a charm. Beard spilled everything the second he thought we could arrest him. Bolly! Ducky chap if I ever met one. Um, he's a serial killer, sir. Former. And your detective has more than a rocky past. That's different. Big V just... Fine, 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 fine. Boys will be boys. Pish posh. On the other hand of your word, Snow, that gentleman called last night. Big V? No, no, no. The Baron. Seems he's taken a keen interest in this case. How so, sir? He asked about any leads we had on the case. Sir, what did you tell him? I only spoke of Jack. Afternoon. Oh, it's you. Hey. Hey yourself, John. Job treating you well? Oh, five by five. You? Same. Can I get the key to cell four? Jack? Of course. Detective, someone already went down to see him. Call Snow, get the police. What? All on that day, will I run to the rock? Please hide me and run to the rock. Please hide me and run to the rock. Please hide me, Lord. All on that day, put the rock right out. I can't hide you, the rock right out. I can't hide you, the rock right out. I ain't gonna hide you, die. All on that day, I said, Rock, what's the matter with you, Rock? Don't you see I need you, Rock? Lord, 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 all on that day, so I run to the river. John, John, no, I need...
need you to tell me what happened. Oh, baby, sweet Jesus, what happened? Blue Bear just tried to perforate our favorite candlestick jumper. I got a call from John. Beers right after he saw you run off. Bear's in custody. Thank goodness, in separate cells, I hope. Naturally. So that's it? Case closed? He's... No, it's not him. You're kidding me. Sorry, Snow. It can't be. God. What a damn nightmare. I'm sorry. It only gets worse. What more is there? I had a test conducted last night. It's about the blood. Oh, my God. No, from the amount of blood lost, I just don't know when she can be alive. She's gone. She's gone. I said, oh, I'm coming, I'm coming. Matt? Good heavens. Easy King. He's helping us out tonight. But he's, he's... Unfortunately. Call Snow over here. She's not going to want to miss this. There you are. I thought you might be interested in being our guest. Come with me. Jack! Here she is. Do we really have to do this? Absolutely. Ladies and gentlemen, I present Rose Red's killer. Rose Red. Polly! Here we go. Rose, what the hell? How'd you do it, B? I know you. I do not to trust a single thing that you say. Right from the start, things were off. Jack's in pretty good shape, but his apartment's on the other side of the town. Which means he had to take a cab to come see me. But by the time he got up to my office, he was out of breath. He overplayed it. I told you not to overdo it, you ass. But there are other things. Little details. When I got to the apartment, I could tell it didn't stay. That made that. All the blood was poured, not splattered. And there was a lamp knocked over, as if in a struggle. But the bulb wasn't broken. On and on it goes. There's a toaster in the middle of the living room, smashed, covered in blood. But the kitchen was untouched. Blood was all around Rose's stereo system, but not on it. On that, all their crap CDs were thrashed, but the front rows weren't even moved. But all the blood? At first, I couldn't explain it. I wasn't sure. At first, I thought Rose set up this whole suicide thing to frame Jack, but she didn't count on getting double crossed by her partner. I couldn't get my head around all the blood, but that's when I saw it, the freezer. I took a close look around and found four little holes parallel to each other on the fridge. Both on the bolt door and the door on the fridge. They had been filled in with putty to try and cover it up, but yet again, poorly done. They looked like screws, which meant to me they used a lock on it. They were trying to keep something inside of it. Then I took a look at Rose's file back in my office. And then these covers were short and turned into drug use. That did it. I assume that's how she got the idea. The average human can only lose up to eight to ten pints every three months. Which meant Jack had to help her store it. But there's a problem. They always had plenty of people over for a party or two. They had to keep it locked up so no one would know what they were doing. They covered the place in the stuff. They left us a little red hair in the door, and Jack was even careful enough not to step in any of it when he came to get me. But why? Bluebeard? It's Jack's fault, mainly. Hey. Bluebeard mentioned that Rose told me he came interested in him a year ago. I went over my files and remember how I busted Jack in one of those get rich quick schemes. I always wondered where he got the money started up. That's where Red came into play. Only after she got the dough, she needed the way out. Here we are now. For Christ's sake, Rose. So now what? Well, no harm, no foul. I suppose you go away for a very long time. Huh? What? I swear, sometimes you are such an idiot. Love you too, babe.
Bali. Just Bali. Hey. Hey. You always come up here after a job well done? Usually. This is the first time I've had company. It's a beautiful view. I just didn't really notice. <laughs> How long have you known? Since the morning after you took in Jack. Damn. Oh well. You gonna be okay? Nope. Huh? Okay. Oh my god, it's happening ever. Well. <laughs>